Good evening, everybody. Thanks for having me. Ottawa! <laughs> yes! 613! Oh! So good to be here. Um, I have a wife here. Good lady. Heart of gold. So I've never done a stitch of laundry in my life. Just put it in the hamper. And miraculously, those are hanging in my closet the next day. She's on top of things. Uh, some nights, um, I'll test my wife's OCD. A little bit of a problem. I won't even use a Kleenex. I'll just crumble it up and put it in the garbage. Just see what happens. Put. Right, I got it's gone. <laughs> Who knows where it goes? <laughs> where does it all go? <laughs> I don't know. It's like the dishwasher. It's just always empty. Uh, so my wife's a good lady, like I said, and uh, she takes care of me. Books my doctor's appointments. Um, tells me when it's time for me to clip my nails. Uh, coordinates my personal grooming efforts. Yeah. The way she does that just tells me, I am not going to sleep with you with you like this. So figure it out. And don't leave a mess. That's when it was time to shave. So I'm a guy, I'm modern, you know, I do a little bit of modern manscaping. So I do what I can to keep the marriage spicy. Uh, I gotta tell you though, it's tough work being married. <laughs> Isn't it? Got any married folks to try tonight? Yeah? Yeah, put your hand if you're married. Yeah, you? Yeah? Now, keep your hand up if you ever thought about killing your significant other. Yeah, yeah. A lot of hands went down there, right? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Nothing to be ashamed about. We've all thought about it. How'd you do it, though? Eh? Poison the cereal. Yeah. Just strangle them. <laughs> Just sneak up at 3 and 4 in the morning. Put a pillow over their face. Yeah. Cut the brake lines. So, I never thought about killing my wife. But, uh, <laughs> Trish thought about killing me, though. Snore like a motherfucker. You got a CPAP machine recently. You know what that is? It's where you attach that Darth Vader mask to your fucking face. Pumps oxygen there in your nose. <laughs> So apparently, um, if you stop breathing five times an hour, that's regular. Stop breathing uh, 20 times plus, that's you're in the danger zone. Went to see the uh, sleep specialist. I stopped breathing 128 times in an hour. <laughs> Holy fuck. So, um, got one of the CPAP machines. So now I wear this Darth Vader mask every night. It's disgusting. Uh, sleeping with a baby though. I feel like a million bucks! <laughs> My CPAP on, boom! Wake up refreshed. The whole new world. So, some of my buddies who don't have sleep apnea, they're uh, looking into getting the CPAP machine. <laughs> they don't have sleep apnea, but they're gonna fake it. They want the Darth Vader mask. They wanna wake up refreshed. Uh, probably could be because I smoke. Long time smoker, 22 years. Maybe you should quit smoking. Doctor always tells me you should quit smoking. You wouldn't have bronchitis and pneumonia so much. Probably good advice. Dentist too, eh? Oh, hates it. He's a cyclist. You should stop smoking, Mr. Gold. I'm working on it, man. <laughs> you know, I don't smoke in the car. I don't smoke at work. I try not to smoke in front of my kid. I don't smoke in the house. And when I drink, boom, I need to smoke, drink, smoke, drink, smoke, drink, smoke, drink, smoke, and the cycle. My loop, my cycle. I need it. Nothing better than uh, having a smoke after a drink, you know. For those of you who don't smoke, you should. Give it a try. You think I'm up here talking about it for no reason? It's incredible. The 
belly of people out there doing it because they love it. You don't even have to smoke real butts anymore. You can smoke those vapor things. Anybody seen those? There's a couple studies going on. Not sure if the vapor things are good for you yet. They cause popcorn lungs, supposedly. You know what that is? Where are these like popcorn type gross emerge in your lung? And you're sucking the vapor in super deep and big clouds. You ever seen it? <laughs> big cloud of smoke. <clears throat> God damn, do I ever love having a pack of butts and a vapor? Here in a non smoky environment, there's lots of them around there in Ottawa. Hey, government, over us! Trying to contain me, to squeeze me into a little disgusting smoker box, to shun me to the sidewalk. <coughs> Don't judge me! Yeah, you've done it. Come on. That's all the time for tonight. What up, Ottawa? Peace!